Autism, from the point of view of the language problems that are faced by an autistic child, autism is on a continuum with, with, uh, with the language learning problems that are addressed effectively by Fast Forward. And it's on a continuum. It, that's been demonstrated in a number of ways. For example, autism is a relatively strongly inherited condition, but every child that is, has the inherited weakness doesn't develop full-blown autism. If one of the set of identical twins is autistic, about 15 to 20 percent of the time the identical twin is not. What are they? They're language impaired. And they will struggle to learn to read. Right? So they have an inherited weakness. They're on a continuum. If we look at autistic children in general, the errors they make in their language usage, in their operations, in their phonemic reception, and the, and the, the way this contributes to the struggle with reading is virtually identical with the more mildly impaired, language impaired kid. Remember that fast forward is not just about language. It's really about generating resources neurologically in controlling the behavior of a child in their brain, you could say, that empowers them in a general sense cognitively. So it's not just about language and, it, and its impacts are far beyond language. One of the early things we did in evaluating Fast Forward in this population was done by two of the most enlightened therapists in which they looked at the consequences of the application of Fast Forward language to 100 autistic children. And basically what they did is do a survey of the reactions from parents, from the therapist, from teachers, to document the impacts that the training had, not just on their language abilities, but also on the other complex cognitive and social deficits applied in these children. And what they discovered was the great majority of them were very positively impacted by fast forward. And these are things that are relatively substantially removed from, from training a kid as a language listener, right? So the, my point is, is that the, Im, the impacts can extend substantially beyond just language abilities or language enabling reading. And they extend beyond the reception of language more accurately to the use of it, which is critical. These children have a fundamentally expressive problem, expressive limitation, many of them do, and any way that you can positively impact that is, is, is a wonderfully helpful thing for them. But beyond that, it's the cognitive improvements and the improvements in the control of their behavior, the control of their attention, the, the improvement of the ability of the child to be on task, and then, amazingly, other things that you'd think it would be more remotely removed, like how effectively the child is operating socially, or uh, whether the child uh, feels overwhelmed by sound, or overwhelmed by feelings from the body, or whatever. Those things were improved. I think the fast-forward language, fast-forward language to reading, and the reading programs are all useful in these children. And, uh, and are one of the most powerful tools and resources that we now have.